Saturday morning. Welcome to the video. Hope everyone's been well. Let's get to it. Last week we were stressing about weigh-ins. This week's weigh-ins aren't looking too good. We finished the week off on Sunday, but the very next morning, which is Monday, we've just been having low weigh-ins. And there weren't really many changes done. We just upped cardio. We had higher carbs on high carb day. But yeah, everything has really been sort of coming together, which is good. Here's basically the meals that we're gonna be following. So meal one, we've got 50 grams of oats, two scoops of protein, 200 grams of jasmine rice, 250 grams of white fish, we're using barsa fillets. Meal two is 500 grams of lean beef mince, or 95 mince, and 270 grams of potatoes. That's the total macros for the day, 150 carb, 40 grams of fat, and 220 grams of protein. Here are the two meals. I normally don't sprinkle a bit of paprika over the top, but we did it for good effort because my presentation is pretty bad. Okay, from the title of the video, how to stay consistent with training and nutrition. I've been meaning to do a video on consistency as it's something that took me a long time to get right, but I think I've got three important tips. I'm gonna to try to keep it as simple as possible. Consistency is the backbone of achieving any long-term goal, especially when it comes to fitness and nutrition. However, staying on the path can be challenging. Luring shortcuts, the peel of an extra slice of cake, or just skipping one workout can be tempting. So how do you cultivate discipline and push through the hardest times? To keep it simple, I've only got three points and also a tip to overcome the challenge. Number one, which I think is the most important, the power of why. The why should be big. The journey starts with you understanding your why. Why are you doing this? Is it for better health or maybe you want to look the best certain event perhaps you're just training for a particular sport whatever it is the reason will be your anchor overcoming the challenges on days when motivation isn't a hundred percent remind yourself of why you started visualize the end result and let it fuel your discipline literally keep the end goal in mind at all times number two set smart goals smart goals are specific measurable achievable relevant and time bound instead of saying i want to lose weight try saying i want to lose 10 pounds in three months by exercising five times a week and cutting out processed foods be specific overcoming the challenge break your main goal into smaller milestones celebrate every achievement to keep the momentum going for example my 20 week diet is divided into seven parts first month second month third month fourth month fifth month peak week and post-show recomp Keep it simple. Number three, mind over matter. Arguably, the most significant battle you'll face is within your own mind. The voice that says one more rep isn't worth it or this diet is too hard. But remember, discipline is like a muscle. The more you train it, the stronger you get. Overcoming the challenge. When negative thoughts arise, counter them with positive affirmations. Over time, you can rewrite your own mindset that aligns with your goals. I recite a poem that reminds me not to quit. That poem gives me a little bit more hope to fight another day. In conclusion, while the journey to maintaining discipline in training and nutrition has its own share of challenges, the right strategies in place, you can overcome them. Stay connected with your why, set smart goals, and most importantly, believe in yourself to push through. Remember, every step you take, no matter how small, is a step closer to your goals. Stay the course and the rewards will be worth your effort. Thank you for listening. All right, guys, this is the final meal of the day. We just got some mince, potato, spinach, zero calorie sweet chili sauce. We're gonna finish the meal, head to bed. Yeah, today, every person that I met told me that your face is starting to slim down. Everyone noticed it. Yeah, this morning, weigh in too, we were 65 kilos. Yeah, we have lost a lot of weight this week. We end the video over here. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to catch you in the next one.